Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning we're going to talk about an engine dehydrator, making dry air, blowing it through your engine so you get no corrosion in those off seasons of flying. Now, I know winter's about over, but you've got all summer to make one of these for next winter. So now we're going to have Neil explain to you what all the components do. A little bit of history. Uh, thanks, Roscoe, and uh, thanks for looking after my plane, and thanks for cleaning my plane, Matt. Um, so this is a, sort of a Mickey Mouse uh, Jerry rig thing, but it's uh, evolved. I used to have, in this little bucket down here, I used to put the granules, the famous granules, but my wife uh, objected to cobalt going in the oven every week or so, and uh, pain in the rear to uh, rehydrate. So I looked at all sorts of things. There were some designs in the EAA, and then I came up with this thing. So I found this uh, machine here. So it's basically a dehydrator for compressed air. It's designed for compressed air paint shops. And it has an input here, high pressure. It, it'll take high pressure even though this is a low pressure system. It takes high pressure air in here. It runs it through a refrigerator and um, dehydrates the air coming out here. This air then goes through this little tube here. These are just the 3 8 adapters to a quarter inch. And then this goes in, blows into this box. Now, you don't really need this box. This box is historical for when I used to have the granules, but I'm too lazy to fix it. The key part is this little bit. So this is one arm of a medical uh, anesthesia machine. This is how we um, put kids to sleep. And I happen to be a pediatric radiologist, so um, I borrowed an old one. And it's got a couple of components, a flexible arm. Secondly, it's got a removable um, 5 micron filter here, and uh, it's a high flow 5 micron filter that comes in, and that, in uh, medical practice, that filters out the germs and all sorts of debris so it doesn't go into the kit. And then it has, we've, we, cut one off, uh, we cut one arm off, this has a rebreather circuit, but normally, but we just cut one off and uh, put a, a cable tie on there. And then this is the key bit, I think. Uh, Roscoe came up with this. So this bit comes apart. And then what we did is we just glued, super glued, the end of a uh, oil can. Uh, this is just a Philips uh, 2050W uh, oil can. We cut that off and just glued it. And you'll see the glue here. It was just JV Well, and that's worked well. So this fits into the oil uh, filler hole. And then we... So you can screw that into the hole, we'll show that in a moment, and then you connect it to here, connect it to this box here, and it blows air through. So the quest, so there's the dehydrator, it's about $650 or so from, uh, I got it from a website called uh, Moisture Boss, and uh, you, can, you can get it, I'm sure, off the web, it's a Parker, and uh, we'll put the details up for you on the website. But it's a, um, a Parker PD-10, uh, dollars So the other component is this thing, which is, the uh, little pump that drives the air through, and again I got on this online for, for $100 or so, and it's a blue diamond uh, pump, mm -hmm. and it's designed for aerating uh, uh, little small ponds, uh, you know, small fish ponds out, uh, etc. It's a, it's a step up or two from a hobby aquarium. I originally had a hobby aquarium thing here. It was unreliable, the tubes came off, etc. So I bought this thing for uh, 100 and something dollars. It has a filter on the top, and it's pretty powerful, it can run full time. So that's the component. So air comes in, uh, air comes into this thing, it just blows air through the dehydrator. The dehydrator goes to this box for historical reasons. You could cut this out if you like. And then my little anesthetic tube plugs in here. We just made a hole there with a forstner bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the hole goes in there. This filter filters out any silicon dust or anything else. And then this goes into the um, oil filler hole, and I just leave it on a, uh, I just leave it on a timer, okay. and it comes on at certain times. I've actually um, put the timer on for evening, so that seems to be when the uh, moisture seems to accumulate, when the temperature starts going down in the hangar, and the humidity is in the air, it, uh, it um, uh, produces mist. So I put it on mostly there, and then I put it on again in, a, in the morning. But you can set that just, a, it's just a timer out of uh, Home Depot. Uh, you can do anything you like. So that's how my system works. Okay, now we're going to show installing the system on the airplane and letting it do its thing. Stand by. So here we are, uh, the famous uh, Grumman engine and uh, Lycoming engine. So we take, when I've finished flying, I take the uh, oil stick out, clean that, and here's an important detail. What I do 
is they put that oil stick inside the cockpit in front of my nose. It's hard to forget to put the, uh, <laughs> the oil stick back in. Never done it, trying not to do it ever. Um, so here's the little connection. So you just undo it here, just pressure fits. Then the oil can, just as you do when you're changing oil, um, screws in here pretty easily and fits quite nicely. So there, there it is there into the oil filler. And then you just connect this up. Now someone on the Grumman gang suggested that we should have a uh, humidity uh, sensor in there and I guess you could put it in there. These things come with little screw off tops here, you could put a little uh, sensor in there I guess. But um, uh, I don't have that, so I guess put it on a timer. So we bring that down here, to the box, to here, and uh, that's basically it. And then we, uh, we go home and uh, it looks after itself. So if you want to, so often... But just for this time again from uh, Home Depot, a few bucks. I actually, when I when I land and when I put it in, I actually turn it on to just I just turn it on for a little while while I shut up the hanger and close the hanger, and that runs. So then the uh, the, the refrigerating system comes on. It works pretty well, and uh, that then blows. And just out of interest, uh, some of you are wondering where to wear this. So I'm pumping air into the filler hole. And the air comes out over here. So here's the here's the oil vent here. You can actually feel the hot, humid air coming out of the engine through through your uh, the usual oil overflow hole. And uh, I don't have much uh, oil. The oil's uh, pretty good in this. And if you notice the uh, my nice shiny aeroplane, it's shiny because of that wing. And if you live within 500 miles of Cincinnati. I highly recommend you come and see Matt and he'll clean your aircraft once a year or more frequently and fixes up the paint and it's just beautifully done and I appreciate it Matt very, very much and I try and keep it clean by having not much oil in that. Thanks Neil. See well ya. ladies and gentlemen, that's an engine dehydrator from a local inventor here in Cincinnati. You also heard about Shop Monkey cleaning airplanes. Come on down and see him. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video and have a good day flying your Grumman.